Fortnite is about to have its biggest year to date with new game modes, collabs, and insane features, but maybe we should call it Fort Theft Auto when they release carjacking. Yeah, soon we're gonna be able to play GTA and Fortnite, kicking enemies out of the vehicles and hijacking them. Not really sure how broken this will end up being, but it's definitely gonna create some incredible moments. Now, a lot of fans are excited about a brand new collab that could release this year. Xbox Era has hosted another podcast where they discuss Jake solely coming to Fortnite. It makes sense, Avatar is one of the most popular films ever, but there's more. They also mentioned the rumor of a Devil May Cry crossover, and while it seems strange, these same guys told us about Transformers, Doom, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles years before they released. The same goes for weapon mods, which are getting an update very soon. There's currently four different categories, and Epic is already working on a fifth to amplify the gun itself. You'll be able to equip buffs like automatic fire, headshot damage multipliers, flaming bullets, and even restoring stamina. Some of these sound pretty OP, so expect them to be exclusive to bosses or cost a ton of gold. Who knows, maybe even the turtles are hiding them because it seems like the collab isn't done yet. Leakers have found a bunch of stuff in the files it still hasn't released, from TMNT supply drops, a ninja mythic giving us jump and dash attacks, alongside a whole underground hideout for them. The room is still waiting in the secret metro station and we're just a few weeks away from the next update so maybe we'll finally get the second half of this collab and soon you'll be able to become a ninja in rocket racing it sounds weird let me explain it i think isn't just planning on adding new tracks and cosmetics they're also making new modes alongside queuing for ranked and individual maps you'll be able to select death races which is exactly what it sounds like a giant death run for cars and the fastest time wins if you want a new vehicle to compete with, stay tuned for the drop of Ferrari. We've already had one in the game before, but now we're getting the 458 model, and you'll be able to customize it just like the Lambo. There's also a Citroen C3 Rally 2 on the way, so get ready for a ton of car brands to start appearing in the shop. If you're not a fan of driving around, then you gotta hear about the new rope swinging mechanic that's being made. It'll work just like you think, with a rope or chandelier hanging from the ceiling, letting you grab and swing across. There's even another feature called rope repelling, which will let you climb up the rope to get to the higher levels and up mountains. The best part, all of this could be arriving as soon as next season. And don't worry, even LEGO is getting new features, including the next tier of tools. Currently, everything only goes up to Epic, but with the next update, we should finally be able to grab legendary items. They're not all the same material, though. There's an iron axe, titanium shield and pickaxe, but my favorite of all is a rift sword. Now, that sounds epic. And speaking of, Epic is going to be updating every mode, which is why so many more vehicle cosmetics are coming. Not only are they working on collabs like Ferrari, but they'll also be slowly importing the entire Rocket League locker, starting with Sentio, Endo, and even the Battle Bus. So if you already own the car bodies, you'll instantly unlock them in Fortnite 2. They are also transferring wheels and working on a whole new cosmetic slot for custom smoke and drift trails, so we'll have to wait and see how it looks. Someone we have wanted to return forever, though, might actually be making an appearance this season. Of course, I'm talking about Midas. Fortnite has teased his return for years now after he vanished from the storyline, but now we have solid proof. Not only does the society have a logo of golden hands and an eye, his chair in an attic, and a bunch of items referencing the spy season, but he also has his own LTM. That's right, the Flora's Lava is set to return under a new name, Midas Presents Flora's Lava. Definitely a strange way to make a comeback, but this has to mean he'll be returning this year. And so is the OG season. It was such a hit that it broke Fortnite's all-time record since the game began. Epic was so impressed, they had no choice but to bring it back again sometime soon, confirming it's not only on the roadmap for 2024, but also going to be different this time. So maybe they'll dive deeper into Season 8, 9, and X this time around. Before it arrives, we'll be heading into Season 2 with a Greek mythology theme. It's been something the community has requested for years, and Epic has finally listened. The surveys are full of Greek-inspired concepts, and leakers have even found the codename Aena, which is a Greek word, alongside with boss files to spawn lightning. I mean, it's literally Zeus. We even have an idea of collabs arriving in Fortnite not long after. After. Epic has already partnered with League of Legends twice to bring both Jinx and her sister Vi to the game, but sources also told us Mel would be coming. Months went by and we got nothing, but now with the second series announced, it only seems right to collab with them once again. I'm just hoping for a Silco skin this time around. And if you're still exploring in LEGO, you probably come across some of the random encounters by now. From the rainbow cloud to a hidden IO bunker in Durburger, there's a bunch of little things to discover, but soon there's gonna be a whole spaceship. We're working on porting more real life sets straight into the game like the Galaxy Explorer. There's also a new version of the Nightmare Shark set being made, where you can use a cannon to practice shooting targets for a prize. If you ever get lost when looking out for these, don't worry, because soon you'll be able to use a compass. It'll either point north or straight towards your home like in Minecraft. And if you're using a car, boat, or even plane to get there and wondering how to steer it, it's pretty complicated, at least for now. Lego themselves have told us the team is working on ways for you to be able to steer some of the amazing things that you're building, but we're not quite there yet, so expect to see it later this year. And if you're tired of the 
shops being boring lately, get ready for a bunch of collabs to return. Sections for Eminem, Attack on Titan, and Lego Marvel are all ready to release, with AOT being the first time back since over 250 days ago. There's also a lot of hype for Marvel because there's a high chance you could get your hands on Eddie Brock after being updated for the first time in over two years. Speaking of waiting a long time, it's also been an entire chapter since the last addition to the Creator Icon series. Previously, we got Flake's power at the start of chapter four, and now it's chapter five. We used to get one every season from Cypher PK to Mr. Beast, so what's taking them so long? Maybe, just maybe, they're finally working on Nick A30's Icon series, but a lot of fans also want to see I Show Speed. And if you're already getting pretty tired of the current weapon mods, don't worry because Epic is working on more. Just like Augments, they'll probably change every season, taking some away and adding in new ones. Soon, you'll be able to apply triple barrels, overload magazines, and even fire barrels. And that doesn't sound crazy enough, wait until you hear about Lego's enchanted guitar. Okay, no one's really sure what it does yet, but the animation looks awesome, so maybe we'll be able to fight enemies with it, or even destroy builds like the boombox. You might find it in one of the upcoming ghost chests. There's already a few types you can find around your world, but these are a little different. Instead, they'll be locked and require a ghost key to open them, so hopefully there's actually some good loot for all that effort. And it might have resources to craft some of the brand new features like a zipliner cannon. You've already got a bunch of utility items, but Epic is working on more. The refiner will let you process rift ore into fragments to craft new tools. Zip lines will let you connect two locations together for easy travel, or you can choose a catapult to launch yourself there instead. There's even gonna be a cannon that'll fire projectiles at your enemies, just like the ones from BR. And if you're worried about Fortnite Festival being left out of the updates, don't be, it is getting some new stuff as well. Epic is already working on adding fresh modes, letting you duel friend, battle others with songs, and even an arena mode. They're nowhere near finished yet, so that's all we know, but it's safe to say the rhythm game isn't being being pushed aside. Not the only thing getting an upgrade, because the LEGO villagers you're used to will also be changing. In a future update, there's a chance NPCs will instead be vendors that sell you items and resources. It'll change depending on who they are, with a fox mascot offering food, a raccoon trading treasure, and a wolf exchanging materials. If you're not up to paying for the items with your own resources, you can go on a side quest instead to get it for free. One thing we can't get at all right now is augments. They've been disabled since the start of chapter 5, despite so many new ones getting added. There's even a milestone teasing us at they exist and are coming soon, we just don't know when. But if you're getting tired of fighting with swords and Lego, get ready for the stud gun. They're actually adding guns to the mode and they'll fire Lego stud pieces just like in the sets and games. If you prefer something more futuristic, you'll be able to grab a gravity gun and throw objects around. Now that's what I'm talking about. One of the craziest announcements for 2024 is the amount of collabs we're about to get. Fortnite has already started adding new jam tracks like Can't Feel My Face by The Weeknd and Stitches by Shawn Mendes, so that's not all. They've confirmed that more new tracks will be added every single Thursday from now on, meaning we'll get a new artist and song in the game weekly. Now, one original skin you could count on arriving is Space Me Households. This concept has been in the surveys for a while now, but the code name has only just appeared in the files, so Epic have got to be releasing it in the next few months. So is Juice World. His own manager confirmed that a Fortnite crossover is definitely coming soon, and that even though it might take a while, it'll be worth it. Whether it's a whole skin set or just a jam track, fans will be happy to hear this. The same goes for Fall Guys players. Soon, Epic is bringing it to Fortnite too. Just like Rocket Racing and Lego, it'll become a new mode, this time for mini games while playing as a bean. Mode's only in early development, so don't expect to see it for a while, but perhaps they'll release a new game every year for it. It's everything coming to Fortnite in 2024. It's Tommy and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.